I'm yours for all time And I'll give you anything that I ever thought was mine I will follow your way for the rest of my day Jesus wrote the letters to the seven churches. He spoke to the church at Laodicea, the last church in the Bible. And he was standing outside, remember this, mm -hmm. separated from the crowd yes. inside. And he said, so because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, I will vomit you out of my mouth, spew you, vomit you, spit you out of my mouth. Because you say I am rich and have become wealthy and have need of nothing, and you do not know that you're wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I advise you to buy from me gold refined by fire, that you may become rich, and white garments that you may clothe yourself, and the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed, and I salve to anoint your eyes that you may see. All right, Revelation 3, verses 16 to 18. They were blind. They were unconscious of his absence. Mm -hmm. Not not true. He's outside. Yes. What are they doing inside? Well, they think they're having great times. That's what they say. We have need of nothing. We got everything. They were blind and unaware. And pride will always lead those blind eyes to see nothing but themselves and to boast and trust in their own works. Mm -hmm. I was thinking when you said um, that they he said to them to buy gold. Now, what he gave to us was a free gift to those yes. who received and accepted it. Is he being, like, I don't know, say sarcastic there? Oh, no, you're not being sarcastic. Because they, he, 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 they're not receiving him. No, they, they have not received him. No. They, now, the Church of Laodicea was certainly a church at one point. Right. I believe that it's just an assembly of people. Because the promise of God is if two or more are gathered in my name, there I am in your midst. Right. Well, they were gathered, but they certainly weren't gathered in his name because right. he wasn't in their midst. Right. right? So they, have, they now, having once received the gift of salvation, do they have to buy it back? That's my question, yeah. Yes, what's the cost? Self. Ah. Because he still offers. He's standing at the door knocking, and he's still offering. But they've got to repent. They've got to die to themselves. Right. They have to admit their failing, their sin. They have to admit their separation exactly. from God. Right. That's the cost. Yes, yes. And, you know, is there a cost? Is repentance a cost? Well, it's a recognition. Mm -hmm. Okay? Salvation, sal the, we've all heard salvation is a free gift of God. You may have heard it because it says that in the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true. It's the free gift. There's no cost to us, no. but it's the most expensive gift ever purchased Amen. because it cost Jesus Christ. But we can't have that without surrendering our own lives. Right. And that just puts me in mind real, just to mention this real quickly, you probably all know the account of the rich young ruler that came to Jesus mm -hmm. and said that, you know, he comes to the point where he says, I want to follow you. And Jesus says, all right, go sell everything you have, give it to the poor and then come follow me. And it says he, he wouldn't do that. He, he couldn't do it because of his love of his riches, his yeah. stuff, right? The point I'm going to make is that Jesus was not trying to deprive him of anything. Jesus was not trying to take from him. Because that account starts with Jesus saying, one thing do you lack? Yes. Jesus was trying to fill the one thing that he didn't have, life in Jesus. Mm -hmm. Eternal life in Jesus. So... Don't be afraid to pay the price to walk in the fullness of God's promise. Yes. And that price is you. You, you know, we, we, are, we are crucified with him. Shall we all cross. sing a chorus of I surrender all? Mm. Because you know, we haven't surrendered all. We haven't surrendered anything. Mm -hmm. I, you know, this is not like, okay, well, I'll do 50%. I'll do 70 No, yeah. you, you, have to, you have to die to yourself. And Jesus said, no man can be my disciple unless he gives up all his possessions. All right? Okay, well, listen. These things, I, I pray that these things that we talk about here mm -hmm. give you cause to think, ponder, and pray. Not necessarily in that order. No. <laughs> about what, the, what God is looking for in our lives. Mm -hmm. I mean, the purpose of this study 
is that we might recognize and know the love of God more and more. Amen. Yes. But with a purpose that we would love Him more and more and more. The more we know Him, the more we love Him. Because Christianity is a love story. Yes, it is. It's a love story. Yes.